as crews prepare to respond to any power-related issues across the state. Well, good morning, everybody. 4 a.m. right now on this Monday, brand new month. It's November 2nd. I'm Michael Gargiulo. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. It is a brand new, brand new month. month. Look at us moving into November and everything. <laughs> Lauren Scala is tracking roads and rails. Storm Team 4's Marie LaRosa is here with the weather headlines. Good morning. Good morning. And it's a brand new week. Aren't we feeling optimistic and fresh right now? All right, we've got some gusty winds. Uh, the wind advisory for our entire area, this actually kicks in at 6 a.m. through 6 p.m. and you're probably hearing out your window right now. I mean, it's not happening now. We're going to see the winds increase by this afternoon. So gusting now, 2025, more like 45, 50 by this afternoon. So it's having an effect on how chilly it feels for sure. 40 right now on the thermometer at Central Park, 38 in White Plains, 39 in Poughkeepsie. But you factor in those winds, it feels more like uh, 22 in Monticello. It feels more like the 20s in Belmar and that wind chill of 35 right now in the city. On top of that, that northwest flow kicking up some snow flurries, especially to the north and west. So you may see a passing flake or two. Two otherwise starting off pretty quiet. But those winds pick up this afternoon again, gusting 45 to 50 miles per hour, uh, keeping our temperatures only into the low 40s this afternoon. And then everything kind of quiets down tonight, mostly clear, 40 degrees, and the winds ease a bit. All right, so let's get you ready for Monday as far as traffic goes. What's going on, Lauren? Not too much out there, Maria. Good morning, everyone. If you're headed out right now, there is an accident in New Jersey on Route 1 and 9 northbound, approaching 287. Uh, two lanes are out. It involves a down pole and wires there. It's not causing a delay though so use caution then if you're headed to the Holland Tunnel the inbound tube has construction but it is not closed so you can get from New Jersey into Manhattan via the Holland Tunnel right now uh, I'll let you know if any delays build but so far so good Darlene back to you Lauren thanks so much well the 2020 campaign is nearing the end if you are getting on the subways, you can't. Uh, they are still being cleaned and will reopen at 5 a.m. And just a heads up for NYC ferry commuters, winter schedules go into effect today, and that does involve some service changes to the East River route. We will take a live look outside at the roads. Here's the cross. Off on his landing the second time around, but we're going to still score that a solid 10. Look at that with the equipment, by the way. Right. It's just you don't want to get hurt doing the celebration right because then but, i mean obviously they know what he's doing you know maria did that once she nailed a five-day forecast right and, and then she did the flip back and it was, yeah fabulous. in heels <laughs> right and, and <laughs> sucked the landing <laughs> sucked the landing but i was watching that too like please don't turn an ankle right don't turn an ankle. right you don't do that oh uh, pretty awesome though all right guys i've got some science for you on this monday talking about the dangerous winds and why we're seeing them I have here uh, the players on the map. High pressure building into our southwest and a deepening area of low pressure storm. Think of this almost like a topography uh, map where you've got the mountain and the valley and the mountain's air is trying to rush in and fill in the valley. Okay, hey, Maria. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Not too many issues out there. There was an accident northbound on Route 1 and 9 approaching 287 that cleared. And now there's one on the Long Island Expressway. This is eastbound uh, out by exit 35 there. So just keep that in mind. Actually, it's a little further west of there. It's heading into uh, New Hyde Park Road. So you can see things are still moving along okay. Then heading over to the Holland Tunnel, the inbound tube has construction, but it is still open. So you can travel from New Jersey into Manhattan via the Holland Tunnel. And we'll take a look outside at the Governor Mariam Cuomo Bridge where things are moving along nicely out there on the span but there is a 45 mile per hour speed restriction in effect due to wind. Alternate side of the street parking rules, they are in effect so don't forget to move your car the last day listed on the sign. Michael, back to you. Lauren, thank you very much. In New Jersey, concerns are growing as the transmission rate and they're, they're trying to find new ways to perform in the midst of this pandemic. They are. It's, it's just what a sweet thing. Absolutely. Look We're going to have the community come out and watch you do a whole news block. I am <laughs> in the street <laughs> on 6th Avenue <laughs> and people will applaud. We will. <laughs> All right. What's going on, ladies? Oh, all right, guys, it's a bit of a chill. Hello, November, right? It's feeling like it right now. And I even have some snow showers on the radar. You can see a little bit of blue coming into solid skies. We'll see fair skies tonight. Still windy 42 by dinner time. All right, that is a look at your weather and a little bit of traffic. Let's check in with Lauren. Thanks, Maria. Good morning, everyone. If you are trying to get on the subways, as a reminder, no service overnight. So we'll see everything be restored by 5 a.m. Usually it's on time. And NYC Ferry Commuters, heads up, winter schedule is going to affect today. That includes some service changes to the East River route. They are rotating some of the stops. They changed the order. So heads up about that. Michael, back to you. Okay, Lauren, thanks so much. We have another community note because if you're driving, uh, happening in New Jersey, the MVC Center in Manahawk, and they are expected to reopen. This is after an employee tested positive 
for COVID-19 last month, an employee who tested all right, that's your weather. Let's get you traffic on this Monday. Good morning, Lauren. And good morning, Maria. Good morning, everyone. There's not much of it out there, which is always good news. You can see lots of green on the maps. There is an accident on the Long Island Expressway. This is on the eastbound side between exits 35 and 36. Uh, you can see two lanes are still open, so delays aren't really too bad there. Then heading over to the George Washington Bridge. You don't have any construction getting in your way. Things still moving along nicely into the toll plazas. Uh, over at the Lincoln Tunnel and Holland Tunnel, you're in for a nice ride as well. Michael, back to you. Lauren, thank you. I put the lining in my jacket today. <laughs> oh, you know, there's I, always that day. Right, right, right. I, I busted out my winter coat as well. It's a bit chilly and uh, very much on target for November, right? We have in, even have some snow showers to the north and west, which if they make it, may get a few snowflakes from time to time. But yeah, definitely chilly. 40 degrees right now in the city, 39 in Poughkeepsie, 40 in Bridgeport. But the winds are west-northwest, 10 to 20 plus miles per hour. Now they'll be more like 30 plus by this afternoon. So here's the wind chill forecast. Yes, in the 30s all day. But if you're already done with November, how about later in the week, November? A nice, steady warm-up. I'll talk about how long the mid and upper 60s last for us in the 10 day forecast. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Still to come. Quieter weather pattern setting in. In fact, warmer too. Mid and upper 60s by the end of the week, even into the weekend. So I'm not seeing anything that really takes these temperatures down a little bit above average, in fact, into next week. 448, and that's a look at your weather. Let's get you updated on traffic. Good morning, Lauren. Thanks, Maria. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, if you're headed out right now on the roads, not too much getting in your way, but there is an accident that just came in on the Garden State Parkway northbound by exit 135. Uh, then heading over to the Long Island Expressway eastbound, you have an accident out there between exits 35 and 36, pretty much halfway between uh, takes out the right lane and shoulder delays not out there so just use caution if you're headed that way uh, we will take a live look outside at more of those roads here's the Kiwanis Expressway things moving along nicely out there as you make your way uh, through Industry City and Sunset Park and finally over on Route 3 you're in for a nice ride out there in East Rutherford alternate side of the street parking rules they are in effect this week Michael back to you <laughs> On top of it, it's a Monday. Yes, it's it's yeah. a lot. It's a lot. But let's get you ready for it. Yes, it is uh, windy on top of all of that. Still looking at winds from Newark. Gusting traffic now. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Maria. If you are getting on the roads, you can see lots of green on the maps here. Uh, no major problems. There are a few accidents out there, but they're not causing a delay. Uh, if you're getting on the trains, all of the major commuter rail lines are running on or close to schedule so far. Uh, subway service will resume in about five minutes. And a heads up for NYC ferry commuters, winter schedules go into effect today and that includes service changes to the East River route. They're reorganizing some of the stops so uh, be prepared for those changes. Michael back to you. Okay. Ahoy lady. And we stay dry and windy through 10 p.m. at 41 degrees. And that's your Monday weather. Let's get your traffic now. Here's Lauren. Thanks Maria. Good morning. Not too much happening on the roads right now. There is an accident on the Long Island Expressway. This is eastbound out between exits 35 and 36. Looks like it takes out the right lane and shoulder. Uh, there are really no delays getting into the area. Just see caution and then heading over to mass transit you have new schedules in effect today for nyc ferry but even bigger news e train service has been restored at Sutphin and parsons boulevards there was that track work out there for well over a month no service at those stations but 5 a.m uh, service has been restored weather on this chilly Monday. It is chilly. You know, Friday we had Matt Brickman, meteorologist Matt Brickman, on Snowflake Hunt, and I have found them this morning. This is North Branch, Sullivan County, which is where they're sort of confined right now. So this is just sort of a lake effect, lake enhanced, making its way into parts of our area. So be prepared. You may see some passing snowflakes. Otherwise, it is cold and windy. 39 right now in the city. American Ice Slope 2, 40 degrees in Bridgeport, 38 in Poughkeepsie. But you factor in the wind, and the wind chill will keep it in the low 30s through this afternoon, so winter coats, yes, I think is a way to Williams Health. If you're getting on the subway, service was restored at 5 a.m. Service also restored at Subfin Boulevard and Parsons Boulevard stations for e-commuters. It's been out for months, it feels like. Uh, over on NYC Ferry, you have new winter schedules in effect today, so make sure you check on that and your major commuter rail lines. So far, so good. Let's take a live look outside. That is your weather. Let's get you updated on traffic. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, everyone. If you're headed out right now uh, and have to drive, there are a couple of accidents. One just came in on the Cross Bronx Expressway. This is westbound, approaching the Bronx River Parkway. 
and it is causing delays. So uh, looks like at least one to two lanes out. Then heading over to the Garden State Parkway northbound, you have an accident after exit 135 Clark. Takes out the right lane, but that's a five lane highway right there. So things are still moving along okay. Over on the LIE, you have an accident eastbound between exits 35 and 36. It's over there on the shoulder. So again, uh, because so many lanes are open and it's eastbound, it's not causing much of an issue. And then if you're headed to the GW Bridge, you're in for a nice ride there. Everything moving along nicely into the toll plazas. Lincoln Tunnel, Holland Tunnel, also still in good shape. And alternates out of the street parking rules, they are in effect. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. Well, happening right now. That. <laughs> you could go the other way around yeah. if it's an emergency. Plumbing issue. Yeah. <laughs> well, saying, you know. Say all at home know exactly what I'm talking party. about. Everybody knows what I'm saying. <laughs> What's happening, Maria? Um, we need the winter coats. I, I can say that this morning. We have winds that are out of the west northwest, still 10 to 20 mile per hour, uh, miles per hour, and gusts that will be over sitting on the Cross Bronx Expressway where you see lots of red flashing lights. This is heading westbound or southbound on 95 into the Bronx River Parkway. It's about a quarter mile before, maybe a half mile. Uh, you can see several lanes blocked, so delays are building. Then heading over to your commuter headlines, your mass transit headlines. New winter schedules in effect today for NYC Ferry, and service has been restored at the Sutphin and Parsons Boulevard stations for E-Train commuters. That was out for a long time. Michael, back to you. Okay, Warren, thanks for... Lauren. Oh, there are some new accidents uh, out there, Maria. One just came in on the Gowanus. Expressway. So where I'm standing, I would be heading out of the Hugh L. Carey Tunnel or the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, as many of you still like to refer to it. Uh, heading out of that right by Hamilton Avenue, you can see heading towards the Prospect Expressway, you have a lane or two out. So delays in both directions. There's some rubbernecking as well. Then around the Cross Bronx westbound, approaching the Bronx River Parkway of an accident there. Also just one to two lanes getting by. So delays are already back to the Bruckner Interchange. Michael, back to you. Okay, I'm Warren. Thank you very much. Decision 2020. This Staying dry and sunny, still a bit above average into next week. 547, and that's your weather. Let's get you traffic. What's the update, Lauren? Oh, we have a couple of things happening out there, Maria. Uh, this just came in that the Garden State Parkway is shut down northbound by exit 136. Linden, Roselle, that's the exit uh, there. But likely because this accident is clearing. Earlier it only blocked a lane, so often they shut the roadway down so that they can fully clear it, but I will keep you posted. In the meantime, avoid it. Heading over to the Gowanus, uh, outbound after exit 26 Hamilton Avenue, you still have a crash in the left lane, pretty much halfway between Hamilton Avenue and the Prospect Expressway, so you have delays there. You have some rubbernecking delays inbound as well. And then over on the Cross Bronx Expressway, you still have this crash westbound heading towards the Bronx River Parkway, so delays at this point back past the Bruckner Interchange. You could stick with the Bruckner, but that will pick up some of that alternate volume. We can already see the colors starting to change on the maps there. And then over on the LIE in Queens, this is what it typically looks like at this hour. Just very slow going, plenty of congestion out there, people heading to work uh, at this early hour. And then finally, alternates out of the street parking rules, they are in effect. So make sure you move your car the last day listed on the sign. Darlene, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Lauren. 548 right now this morning, we're hearing. And that's a look at the weather. How about the traffic? What's going on, Lauren? Well, Maria, there are two accidents out there that are causing delays at the moment. One of them is on the Cross Bronx Expressway, so 95 southbound or westbound on the Cross Bronx, uh, really approaching the Bronx River Parkway. You still have a few lanes out, so you can see the delay back past the Bruckner Interchange. The Bruckner's also picked up a lot of that extra volume there. And then over on the Gowanus, heading outbound after Hamilton Avenue, you have an accident in the left lane there, so you can see some delays in both directions. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. 601 right now, now to Decision 2020 in just 20. Subways, two and three services suspended right now between Nevin Street and Chambers Street. Uh, you also have northbound two trains running on the five line from Nevin Street to 149th Street. This has to do with NYPD activity uh, over at Wall Street. You have delays on southbound E trains in both directions on the F and possible delays on the Harlem and Hudson lines due to slip and slide conditions for Metro North commuters. Let's take a look outside. If you're headed to the Lincoln Tunnel, things still moving along nicely out there. Early next week.
616, that's your weather. How about traffic? Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, everyone. Let's talk about the traffic. Uh, things moving along nicely still in New Jersey and north of the city. It's really, uh, Long Island's in good shape as well. It's the boroughs. So uh, let's head over to the Cross Bronx where this accident earlier, all lanes were shut. It's been moved to the shoulder. Uh, this is heading westbound out by the Bronx River Parkway before you get to about a quarter, half mile before. Uh, so you can see the delays go back uh, past the Bruckner Interchange. The Bruckner has picked up a lot of that alternate volume, so it's quite slow going as well. Heading over to the Gowanus Expressway, you can see the wind. Murray has been talking about the camera shaking. Uh, that accident cleared out there that was westbound just after Hamilton Avenue, so that's good news. But inbound, you just have a lot of congestion out there heading towards Hamilton Avenue. Heading over to uh, the subways, you still have two and three service suspended between Nevin Street and Chamber Street. You also have Uptown 2 trains running on the 5 line, then from Nevin Street up to 149th Street. And for NYC ferry commuters, new uh, schedules in effect today. The winter schedule is going to affect, and that includes some service changes to the East River route. Michael, back to you. Okay, Warren, thanks so much. Happening today, crews will be securing the White House in preparation for the upcoming election. Federal law enforcement... See that? Come play. Really? You know, you I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the biggest like the chicken who likes to be terrified. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand why, but I love it. I don't. Mm -hmm. Never saw Me The either. Exorcist. N really? Just saying. Okay. Now we know what we're doing. <laughs> right. I was going to say, put that on your list. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Classic. Classic. Save me, Maria. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we have some chilly weather. I don't know about scary, but uh, right on time for November, right? The wind's now in that 10 to 20 plus mile per hour range out of the west. Or not. I know. Traffic is cooperating through a lot of the area this morning. You can still see lots of green on the map. So a new issue came in, though. Uh, if you're headed out to the Outer Bridge Crossing, Staten Island down, there is a disabled vehicle mid span there causing some delays. Then heading over to the subways, you have delays on southbound E trains in both directions on the F and possible slip and slide delays for Metro North commuters. You also have a suspension on the two and the three trains. I'll have the details coming up in just a few minutes. Michael, back to you. Thanks, Lauren. We have news for drivers, too, because happening today in New Jersey, the MVV Center and the C Center, that is, in Manahawkin. Well, we have some issues on the subways this morning. Service is suspended in both directions on the two and the three between Nevin Street and Chamber Street. This is because of police activity at Wall Street. You also have northbound two trains running on the five line from Nevin Street to 149th Street in the Bronx. Uh, you have delays, significant delays in both directions on the E, uh, excuse me, on the F. The E, you only have delays on southbound trains, but they're saying a very long wait for F trains. Also, uh, possible slip and slide conditions. So minor delays on the Harlem and Hudson lines for Metro North riders. Michael, back to you. Okay, Lauren, thank you. To Decision 2020 now, in less than 24 hours, the polls will open for Election Day. Businesses across Manhattan, though, there are morning commuters, Lauren Scala. Thanks, Darlene. There are delays in both directions on the 2, 3, and F subway lines, and you have those possible slip and slide delays for Metro North commuters on the Harlem and Hudson lines. NYC Ferry of new winter schedules in effect today, and then for Connecticut drivers southbound on 95, there's a crash approaching exit 17, causing significant delays. Uh, you have one on the BQE eastbound uh, by the Brooklyn Bridge, and you still have one southbound on the Garden State Parkway in the local lanes before exit 105. Darlene, back to you. All right, thanks.